to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, 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 oh. Back my life inside a car What's up you guys? Good morning, happy Monday. Um, I just got back from Greece, I believe Thursday at midnight, so I'm definitely jet lagged. I have been trying to stay awake during the days and sleep at night, but it's been really, really hard, um, but definitely still trying to get back on my sleep schedule, and hopefully that'll be uh, good within the next week. When you travel abroad in other time zones, it is very difficult sometimes with jet lag. Sometimes I don't have an issue, and sometimes it's just the hardest thing to get on a normal schedule again. So I kind of just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys um, about content moving forward. Um, I vlogged the Greece trip for you guys and you guys know as I've mentioned before that I've actually been moving um, and uh, I'm finally in my place. You guys can see my backyard, my view. I will be doing a house tour once I get my house a little bit more together because it's a disaster. So I am going to go train legs today. Um, I am back on my routine. Um, I normally always do legs on Monday. I have not been consistent over the last few months that I've been moving and traveling. Like I told you guys, I went to Paris. I went to Australia again. Um, then I just got back from Greece. So it's been really hard to get on a schedule. So definitely getting on a schedule again. I'm actually setting my macros for today and I will be talking about that a little bit more. Um, I will not be competing anytime soon, but I definitely want to get on track with um, having um, meeting my macros every day and kind of just talking to you guys and showing you guys how I am finding my balance after um, competing it's always a struggle for me um, so I am gonna do a full day of eating for you guys today and like I said talk about my macros and so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog stay tuned Saudi right now, so I need to eat it. And then I have five servings of liquid egg whites. I'm Am I supposed so to put music over it? No, you don't have to. <laughs> Do whatever I you want. I never have anybody record me eat. But. There it is. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Alright. What are you training today? Plays. Are you going to film it? Mm -hmm. Will it be in this video or not? Messy eater. <laughs> what is that? It's oats and blueberries, right? And Splenda? Mm -hmm. So I am having my coffee. Why is that Splenda so big? Because you <laughs> told me to get it and it's huge. You can't I normally the container do touch the weight. Grams are weight. Uh, you know what I'm saying though? I normally do, I'm sorry, I normally do ounces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bam. Ooh, perfect. This is hard to measure too because I feel like it's You don't really sweet. need to measure Splenda. No, but I feel like it's super sweet is what I'm saying. Like oh. The sweetness of it. Yeah, yeah. It's compared to regular Splenda, you know? Can we just take a look at my outfit too? Guys, I just want to show you guys what I'm taking for my supplements. Um, I am taking a multivitamin. It's the pink pills right here. This is three pills, one serving, and then a digestive enzyme to help me go poo today. And um, then omegas. And then in my pre-workout workout shake, I am having uh, two scoops of Optum Nutrition Watermelon BCAAs, five grams of creatine, and glycoject, which is a liquid carb. Okay, can we just talk about this view? Like I said, I will be doing a house tour very soon, but we just realized that there is a dead thing. I don't know, would you say animal or rodent? We don't know what this is. I thought it was a rat, but uh, it might look like a baby possum. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it is, huh? So 
Oh, it's such a baby. Oh my god, it's so little. I'm just by the tail. We, I don't. I just literally, literally just scooped it out and dumped it. I didn't expect it. Scooped it out to... and it like stood up. I don't know if it's because it's frozen. It's not frozen. <laughs> it's a uh, rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. <laughs> subs I am not a big sandwich person um but I also am that person that actually small does <laughs> macros and I do it really clean so I meant to go home and prep food which I'm still going to but I'm starving right now we ended up being in the gym for a while and it's one o'clock and I need to eat um, so this is balance counting my macros making sure everything fits so let's go eat normal food Okay, so I guess I got a small sandwich. It's a hero. I don't even know what it has. It has a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> I'll be putting all the macros on the screen. Then I'm also doing jalapeno chips. And I did get no mayo on this uh, because the macros are a lot better without mayo. Okay guys, what's up? I've been unpacking all that, as you can see. I have way too much Tupperware that, needs, that I need to get rid of, but I'm rewashing dishes washing clothes, but um, I had a sandwich earlier that you guys saw, so this is flexible eating for me, which is um, interesting because I normally usually eat super clean. Um, I haven't been able to, little girl, shh. I haven't been able to prep food, <laughs> but um, I am gonna have a milk, sh or a protein shake either way. 
But little girl's tripping out because she found something under the spa and she couldn't get to it and we couldn't figure out what it was. Um, I'm thinking it was a little rabbit that was probably under there. A little jackrabbit. I think that's what they're called, right? Jackrabbits? Yeah. Like the ones, yeah. So we see a lot of those, but she's been tripping out for like the last 20 minutes. Because we literally pulled, half of her body was underneath the jacuzzi trying to get it, so we had to pull her out. Little girl, what was in there, little girl? Well, she's going to try to write. in there. <laughs> she wants to go right back outside. Well, she's tripping. No, she's going to get dirty again. Don't I let her out. Am. We're not going to let her out. She's so dirty. But anyway, um, this is the protein that I've been taking ever since my, um, ever since my prep. Um, it is, for one scoop, it's 120 calories, 0.5 grams of fat. 2 grams of carbs, uh, 25 grams of protein, and um, I found this to be like one of the best as far as macros personally. It's pretty good. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, it's isolate, right? Yeah, and um, so a lot of people ask me if I use almond milk um, in my shakes, but I actually don't mind the fridge. <laughs> we have to organize this because obviously we're eating way too much pizza uh, and crazy bread. What's what? All that pizza. Yeah, so we need to like clear this out. But anyway, um, I just use water. A lot of people do use almond milk, um, but honestly, if you have a good protein, Jessica, uh, what's all that? What's all what? What's all that beer? Oh, that beer. That's my Pacific. I'm not gonna stop drinking beer either. I'm definitely still gonna have beer. <laughs> We're not throwing that out. Um, but that's why it's called, you know, it just fits your macros. So. Uh, I just put a little bit of ice, but what I was saying was, if you get uh, good enough protein powder, I feel personally that it's like creamy enough uh, to actually just use water and ice. That's all I use, and then I do one scoop. Um, and then also, um, the only time I ever really add anything to my protein shakes is if I do like a vanilla protein shake. Um, I'll do like frozen berries in water and then I'll blend it and kind of make it into like a smoothie if I want something really sweet. But that's not going to be today. So anyway, this is coconut, chocolate coconut flavor. It's really, really good. <laughs> okay guys, so I hope, I hope I'm doing okay with someone filming me. Um, I kind of just want to give you guys a different perspective because I'm always like vlogging for you guys like right in my face. Um, so it's nice to have somebody record me stuff. <laughs> um, but you guys have seen what I've ate today. Um, I'm actually getting pretty tired because my sleep was all messed up yesterday. So I think I will be going to sleep pretty early. Um, if you guys have followed me for a while, you guys know that my style of like clean eating is I'll eat like four or five meals a day. They're all weighed out. It's all like chicken, rice super um, clean but I'm really trying to do if it fits your macros and I'm also trying to follow uh, my macros right now I don't know if I actually said that earlier today so um, my calories for today are at 1810 calories um, my fats are at 50 grams my uh, carbs are at 200 and then my protein Proteins at 140. I'm getting really tired, um, but I'm doing my best to track, which has been like perfect today. Um, my eating style has definitely been different. I'm not eating every three hours. I'm not eating super clean. Um, like I said, I'm really trying to find a balance um, in an off season. So that's what I'm showing you guys right now. A lot of people ask me like how I calculate what my what my actual macros are. Honestly, I've been doing this for so long um, that I kind of just go off what I was doing last um, or what has best worked for me in the past because I've been doing it for so long. Um, but they do have like a lot of macro calculators online. I do recommend using those. They're very helpful. Um, and then not, not everybody's the same. So what I recommend doing is getting like a really good a number together for calories and macros and then kind of just play off that um, I think that's the best that's what I've found the best as well uh, my body's definitely not in uh, the competing mode right now so I'm curious to see how it reacts off of um, these macros but I am not gonna keep talking about this all night because I'm tired and I'm getting delirious but I kind of just want to give you guys a uh, follow-up on what my macros are today and what I'm going to be eating next.
next. That's what I meant to get to. Um, I'm actually getting Chipotle, so I'm going to get a, a steak bowl, and I'll show you guys when that gets here. And also, I'm a huge Postmates fan, um, so I do order a lot of things from Postmates. Um, so I will be ordering from Postmates, and then I'll show you guys what I get. Why aren't you cooking chicken? <laughs> I honestly was so, like gung-ho on like cooking chicken because you guys know I like to actually prep my food um, but I think having the sandwich today kind of just threw me off because normally I'll prep like clean food and I'll eat the same thing all day but I think it's good that I started off my day with like a clean meal and then I ha had a sandwich and now I think Chipotle is one of the cleanest like fast foods that you can get so it's kind of like all in the middle today um, all over the place but I think um, the the food is kind of, I can't even think right now. I think it's because you're tired. The food is uh, balanced today. We're finding balance, you guys. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys a little what I get at Chipotle. <laughs> Are you ready, sleepy? Yes, I'm getting so tired, but uh, Postmates just got here. I got a steak bowl with white rice, uh, black beans, no guac because it's way too much fat. And then just salsa, lettuce, and they forgot my chips uh, because sometimes Postmates is amazing, but sometimes they do forget stuff. So this is actually two ounces of chips, which is not too bad, which was like 250 calories. Where do those chips come from? From my pantry as I love chips. <laughs> <laughs> and then red sauce. And then I think I'm going to actually conclude the video today, as I say it. Yeah. Are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're done. You hit your macros. If you, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you eat all of this. So if I eat all this, which I'm going to try to, or I might eat half of it now and then half of it later because that's normally how I actually eat my Chipotle. Um, but I'm so tired right now. I'm literally going to have to wake lag. you up to eat the rest of this food. Yeah, so hopefully I finish it. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, vlog. I hope you guys learned something new. I always post... Like I said, eating clean, so it's interesting to eat not as clean as I normally do today. I'm um, showing you guys that you could still hit your macros and still have balance um, when it comes to nutrition. So the carbs I hit today were 211. My goal was two or 200, so it was right there. Um, fat was 47 grams, and my goal was 50. And then protein was 140, and I hit. 129 so I always get questions on like um, what if I can't hit my numbers exactly right um, sometimes there's gonna be days like that I feel like most days you're gonna be a few numbers off so just remember that even my numbers aren't perfect but they are pretty close to <laughs>